transfer. So, so here we have a load cell which is uh, actually made and configured on one of our transducer workshops uh, here in the UK. Uh, this is a binocular cell and it's made of aluminium. And what we are asking the students to do is to put a double uh, linear gauge at one point and another double linear at another point. As you can see, that is a double linear strain gauge. And what will happen is we'll, we will bolt the load cell through here and then apply the load here and it will put it into bending. And these gauges will take effect of two conditions that will occur when we do that. This side of the cell will go into tension while this side of the cell goes into compression by the same amount. That will give us two opposites which will, in a Wheatstone bridge as this is, wired as, uh, you will get a, a, an output four times the actual surface strain. So if we have, for instance, a load which creates 100 microstrain at these points, then we will get 400 microstrain through the signal lead. So how do we do this? Well, simply abrade the surface of, the, uh, of, the, of this aluminium surface using silicon carbide paper, typically starting at perhaps two, uh, 280 grit and then going through 320 uh, to finish with 400 grit using phosphoric acid as our cleaner and then neutralize the, the whole area enable, to enable us to actually bond this load cell. Now this load cell was bonded using a cyanoreparate which we call M-Bond 200 and is supplied by micro measurements. Uh, also we have applied, as you will see here, some solar pads which we can take the fine wires that come from the strain gauges to to be able to exit with the larger uh, instrumentation weight cable. In the, in the real world this lot then would be coated in some protective coating to stop uh, the environment or a mechanical damage to the strain gauges and the, and the wiring and this would probably be uh, on a real uh, transducer uh, which is going to be used uh, in anger in service in the field we would use a, a more robust cable here perhaps a four core uh, PVC insulator or braided cable. Uh, the actual strain gauges here are in fact shown here on the catalogue which is a 125 PC strain gauge. I don't know if that's clear there, but that's the actual size of the gauge here. This just blows it up so you can see what is actually happening here. And that's, that is the, the two gauges that were used here to create the full Wheatstone bridge uh, for this bending binocular cell.